Okay, so we're trying to explain what Gullibot is slash does. <laughs> yeah. Um, so Gullibot in its current, what I'm thinking of it right now, the primary use case right now is it's a place that people can go to get a deep and thorough understanding of a contentious issue from all sides. Um, and then also it's a, it's something that they can affect. So if it's wrong, they can change it. And that's probably one major use case. The other one is that um, if you're a person that has strong beliefs that differ from the common stuff, or you're concerned about missing about you're concerned about what other people think about this contentious issue, regardless of which side you're on, because um, it doesn't matter whether you're in the majority or the minority. Um, it's a place for you to come and put the evidence and the reasons in one central location that you can reference to, rather than on social media where you know, the same lies get repeated all the time and you debunk them and debunk them and debunk them. Um, so I think that's it. Do, do either of those make sense? Well, I think they do make sense. I see how. Let me how say you're... one other way real quick. It is yeah, kind yeah. of, it's Snopes slash PolitiFact. <laughs> it's just deeper. Does that make sense? So, or let, let's say it this way, it's PolitiFact, except instead of taking, like PolitiFact will take a, a well-known person's quote and they'll say, okay, they, they said it wrong here, or they use this number, they said 100,000, it's really a million or something like that. But we take, here's a, here's a statement that people tend to say a lot. Here's the best way of phrasing it. Yeah, uh, that's not, getting into it, but that's another potential way of explaining it. It's a deeper, more advanced. Yeah, but we're not allowed to do that because we can't use that. I mean, that maybe right, that's right, how right. we behind the scenes understand it a little better. Yeah. Um, right. There's another tool, which is not exactly trying to prove or disprove something, but it, it, it's like, who said this quote? These famous quotes are attributed to famous people and it goes through a whole process to, to show you where that quote, you know, just to keep going backwards in time and history to find the evidence of where that quote first came. And in a sense, we're trying to take somebody's claim and, the, and then dig deeply through the research that's out there, the credible research that's out there. And again, that's can be subjective. And then trying to either validate or invalidate it. We're doing that. Yeah, that's what I saw on the COVID thing. That's what it yep. just seemed to me. And then it was all compiled into one place. And you could see that, see the inner workings of why is this a myth? Or why is this a fact? Right. Or why is this uncertain at, the, at this time? Like you can then see because the latest research says there is no definitive answer. It's unclear. The latest research is flawed, whatever. Yeah. Um, okay. <sighs> well. So I think of it like, I mean, so like initially it's, it's the resource. It's like a Wikipedia that you go to. But of course, right now, there's very little data. Yeah. Um, but yeah. And the, it also the be prototype though. I mean, if you think yeah. about it, it's a, this is a prototype. Mm -hmm. We don't want to say that out there at the moment exactly. I mean, it's somewhere we have to say that just so people are like, well, you only have one issue there. What's, yeah. yeah. Okay, Pl a place that people can go to get deep into their understanding of a contentious issue from all sides. And then what we said is, I listen to you and gather the best reasons for and against contentious issues, weighing them based only on what you tell me. My process of transparency. You can see exactly how I decide what I believe and you can change my mind publicly. This is 
on the website, of course. I strive to capture all sides of an issue, including yours. I mean, you really went out of your way to make sure that people <laughs> felt heard, <laughs> which is right. fine, which is good. And then the tagline, your reasons are analysis, better decisions. Yeah. I think that helps encapsulate. So, yeah, so is this, it, no, oh, go ahead. I was okay. just thinking that, yeah, I mean, so if we had to have the one sentence of what it is without all the coaching and that of that I put in the text saying, listen to you, mm -hmm. what would you, what would we call it? Well, that, yeah. So my I mean, next a, qu question it's really is this? A, it's a fact checking site really is what it is. <laughs> it's just deeper than that. A deeper fact checking site. So is it a tool? Is it a resource? Is it a platform? Is it a, what is it? See the problem, yeah, the problem is it doesn't fit in any of those categories very well. I mean, really it's it's a resource um, is kind of the main way most people will use it because most people, it, you know, 90% nine, of the people will just read it. Um, but it it's not a platform because when you contribute to it, the words that you say aren't attributed to you or aren't included, right? So you, you, when you think of a platform, you think of like social media or something like that, where I post it and it's coming from me. Mm -hmm. but so there's, there's no, no attribution, media, right? right? It is a tool in the fact that, you know, well, it's not a tool right now because we're controlling the what the topics that are used so someone can't really come in and do that so it, yeah it's really not a tool right now so it's a resource so it's closest to a resource yeah. okay but okay. It, but see when we when we say a fact checking resource you know then all of a sudden it's like well a i'm not going to trust it because it because these are uh because i don't trust any fact checkers like no, mm -hmm. no fact checkers are trusted right now not even not even not the fact even, <laughs> yeah not even in your own the fact checkers that tend to be biased towards your politics people don't tend to trust them. so that well, just kind of gives a wrong impression right a wrong vibe immediate impression okay so yeah i was looking at the latest COVID news the fact checkers and research is now showing that the vaccine is far more effective than having had COVID in terms of immunity against it. Yeah, they seem to be flip-flopping on that one. I mean, flip-flopping is not bad because the science comes in, it changes. Right, right, right. It just seems but like it shouldn't be that big of a swing. Right? <laughs> <laughs> right? It should yeah. have been, oh, we think, oh, we think. Instead, it's like, oh, you should, oh, you shouldn't. Mm -hmm. um, no wonder people are freaking out. Okay, so what do we call it? Golly Bot is a resource. Let's not define it yet. Let's then explain, right? Gullybot is a resource that um, could it, so you put listens in, but is it listening? I, I mean, Gullybot can say that. Listens. Yeah, if but. we're if we're talking just talking about what it does, I think we can leave the whole listens and the you and all mm -hmm. that stuff out. So if we just want to say it's a resource that has X, it'd be a resource defined, exhaustive, detailed research on contentious issues. Crowdsourced actually would fit in there. Okay, so that it, it can say though, Gullybot is a resource that takes reasons it's given for or against for and against contentious issues weighs them analyzes weighs and analyzes because you analyze first and then you weigh right analyzes and i think weighs. we could consolidate that into one word uh, they're pretty much the nuances are important. Do you prefer ways or analyze? I like ways. Um, because it, you've got that whole weight system. Yeah. The bucket. Okay. Ways them. And wait, well, maybe it's just and ways them. Okay. Here we go. There's a draft here. 
Thought about it is it is a resource that takes reasons it's given for and against contentious issues and weighs them to clearly explain complex information for deeper understanding, building agreement, and decision making. Still very, it's a little big. stilted, maybe big. Um, yeah, and I'm just wondering that, like, if we're crafting the, I kind of like, you know, so, I, I, I guess I feel like it's a good experience for us to still kind of craft just the what is it rather than how we explain it. So I'd almost mm -hmm. like to say it is a resource of blank rather than, because I think once you say resource of, and if you say a couple other words about how it gets the information rather than what it's getting, mm -hmm. that the, you're leaving the person without an anchor. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Gullibot is a, is, do you say a resource of something? It's a resource of, use it in a different sentence, because a resource of yeah i'm not sure uh, as using of just to distinguish from okay that um is a resource for usually i would use for with resource it's a resource for something or a resource that and it's really like something it's it's really under it's a resource for understanding contentious issues the different sides deeply yeah the, the understanding the different sides of contentious issues if we're just going to say what it is and not how it does it then yeah. okay so gullibot is a resource for understanding the different sides of contentious issues does that sound like something that you could say to you your coworkers made. That sounds pretty good, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Why did it take us so long to get there? <laughs> well, then, then, uh, then that's where I fall into. I have the concerns because it sound, uh, it sounds like it's. Well, I don't know. the The fact yeah. that we're saying all sides makes it soften the fact, like. Uh, we're not a fact checking site that 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 says our things from on high and there's no like feedback right yeah they're, um, they're not saying we're fact checking it doesn't say i mean it says different sides yeah yeah so that helps. and it says understanding I'm not trying i'm not trying to change your mind but i'm trying to deepen the understanding here yeah yeah all i got is a resource for understanding the different sides of contentious issues I just kind of pasted it in there. Yeah. So the 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 other, I, and I think it's good because we may still kind of massage that into the homepage. But I think it's good to have that as a statement of what is it when someone asks what it is. So it almost mm -hmm. like to make sure we set that aside as written because we, we may munge it up a bit to get it on the website or we may choose to have that be the first sentence and it works. Okay, but, I'm going to actually paste it up here there and then we're saying that that could be the first portion of the description for the meta tag because so do we want it on the home page and if we did do we want it in first person and how do we first personize it so, so hi my, i'm going bot my, i'm a resource for understanding oh go ahead yeah. um so that's definitely a possibility um, of just using it as is and everything like that. My, my concerns are, and I haven't thought too long about these, uh, is I'm, so does it, you know, it doesn't have all the emphasis to where that I'm listening to that I, that I really, really want you, you to tell me, it doesn't have all the you stuff and I'm listening to you, although that could be in the sentence right after it. Um, and maybe all that you stuff being really, really upfront is is confusing when you're first reading it because you have to set that all aside and understand what it is before you know whether you can look into it. So maybe it's better not to have it. Um, 
and so that so those are things I want to think through is 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 do we need and can we put in all the stuff about you know beating into their head that that they're supposed to be a part of this process right um, and the other thing is that you know Golibot has a score but that score is temporary and it's just there as a guidepost. So Gullibot's not saying this is a fact, that it's a myth. Gullibot's saying, based on what I've been told so far, it's mythish. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, and I need your help. It's funny, so I was listening to a podcast uh, today with a psychologist and she was saying a good phrase is, what am I missing when you're in an argument? Um, because it's, it's, it's open. And so I'm trying to think that, that may be goalie bots, one of goalie bots kind of cat, you phrase you. That's phrases, what, what am I missing? missing? Yeah. Um, yeah, so those are my thoughts around it. I do like it. Um, I don't know, I don't know for a fact that we have to change it. It might be perfect as it is. And then we just have other sentences below that about how it gets there, because then their next question is, Okay, that sounds great, that? but how do I know that you actually are covering everything? And some of the other sentences, you know, where it says, I listen to you and gather the best reasons for and against. Uh, we may not even have to. So, yeah, maybe maybe that is just change. Well, yeah. here's the, the first person version. I am a resource for understanding the different sides of contentious issues. I listen to you and gather the best reasons for and against yeah. them, yeah. weighing them based only on what you tell me. So it, it, what it does is immediately defines and now you elaborate and you emphasize the I'm you, 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 which is fine. Yeah. The more I think about it, I think that that works out really well. We're getting closer. Yay! <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, so now. Yeah. Well, you think it's bad. So I've been not being able to explain it for a decade now, so. Oh my gosh. All right, well, it's see, nice there we have. go. <laughs> I'm putting it there now. Hello, I'm Gollybot. I am a resource for understanding the different sides of contentious issues. I listen to you and gather the best reasons for and against them. Weighing them based only on what you tell me. My process is transparent. You can see exactly how I decide what I believe and you can change my mind publicly. I strive to capture all sides of an issue, including yours. Flows, that works. That last sentence may be driving it a little too too hard. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Because we're saying all sides several times. I mean, I don't, I don't mind it. I just, it did, it did, I did bump in when you said it. So, <laughs> it or not? Right, I'm gonna put. <clears throat> yeah, but just... I, I like that as our base for everything else. Mm -hmm. And so we move across the board. I have to shorten and the little. only place is Twitter where we might run into a bit of a problem. And then on Facebook, it won't limit you. It just won't show it all. So I'm a research for understanding different sides of potential issues. I listen to you and gather the best reasons for and against them. It, then it might cut it off there, weighing based on only what you tell me. So it might cut it off there, which is okay. I'll go measure it. Then Facebook and against them and then substack welcome to the gullybot newsletter hello i'm gullybot i am a resource for understanding different sides of a contention issue i really feel like that was the missing link it's just define me first now let me tell you how i do it and by the way you're really important to the process yeah yep yep i think that was the missing yeah I like it. Cool. All right. Let me. Um, 